So today what we're going to be doing is building out our own AI SEO agents that can help us automate a lot of tasks and we can do this with no code at all. So what I'm going to be using today is Zapier Central which helps with AI automation. You can connect it to Google Sheets etc. It looks really cool for actually building your own AI SEO tools and agents and that sort of thing. And I'm going to run you through it step by step today. So I'm going to be learning how to use it. So we're going to click on Try Central today. I'll log into my account right here. And once you're logged in, you'll see something that looks like this, right? So we can call this bot, for example, the topical map maker, right? And from here, you'll say, I'm looking forward to working together. And you've got a choice between behaviors and data sources, right? So behaviors are like custom commands. So you can tell it exactly what to do. And then data sources, you can give it information for data. And I actually think that's better because if you train ChatGPT on your own data, then it's more likely to be factually correct. Whereas if you're using, for example, like ChatGPT or something like that, everyone has access to that content, which means that everyone is using the same data. And additionally, ChatGPT can hallucinate a lot, which is not good for SEO. So what we're going to do from here is we'll click on create behavior and we can set up triggers and actions, right? And then what you can see here is that I've created this bot called the topical map maker. And essentially I've taken the SAP, literally just pasted it into Zapier central and I'll show you exactly how this looks, right? So we've created this new test called a topical map maker. And essentially I paste it in the details from my topical map SAP directly into the behavior details. So I'll show you exactly how to set this up, but here's what it looks like on the output. So you can see the output right here. If I message the bot topical map, as you can see, then it will say to proceed with creating a topical map, I need to know the niche and language you're interested in. Could you please provide me with the niche and language for part one of the goal? We put birds in English, so not much typing or instructions required here. And then it's come up with the topics that we could cover, right? So all the categories that we could cover within our website. Then if we scroll down, it said, okay, here's all the topics and the categories for your website. Now, please provide me with a specific topic. And I've said, just do it for all of them. And then it's come back with like, for example, bird watching, the variation. If you were doing this in a different language, you would have the translation right here, but essentially using Zapier central, we can automate our topical maps. Now it's not done the whole thing. As you can see, it's actually only done bird watching and then it's done bird feeding, and then it's also done bird species, right? So we've got the category and then the page that we would create underneath each category, as you can see down here, to automate our topical map process. But it's so easy to set up, right? So let me show you exactly how we did this. So if I go to new bot over here, just click on create behavior, and then in the instruction section, I would just copy the SAP. SAP is inside my free SEO course if you want to get access to that instantly. But you can see we've pasted in the instructions right here, we can add a trigger so we can say like when I message the bot or you can schedule in every week. Let's say you're an agency. You could even say, right, well, when I onboard a new agency via Google forms and they fill in the details, that can be the trigger. You can schedule it. You can set it up in Google sheet, even Slack. So it even integrates with Slack, but we're just going to focus mainly on when I message the bot for now. And then you would just have your keyword, right? So let's say you're creating a agent for a topical map. So you can just put topical map right here, add trigger. And then you've got all the details right here. Then you would add an action. So what it's going to do afterwards. So you can say, right, create a Google doc, new te template document, let the AI select a value, let the AI select the document, etc. add the action. And then you can switch it on and hit test behavior. So easy to do. So we've set up the automation right here on Zapier central. That was pretty easy. So then to trigger the automation that we just set up, just put in your keywords. So for example, I set it up as topical map right here. It's now replied. We'll give it the language plus a niche. Then it's come back with part two of the process. We said do the first five, as you can see, and then it's taken the topics, the variations of the pages and what that would be in the language, right? So it's got the Italian version right there. And then it's doing the same for the next topic. And you can just build out your topical map step by step. And then I've said, okay, now create the Google doc and it's taking the action that we asked it to. And it's even named the Google doc for us. Now at this point you might be thinking, okay, how is this different from say GPT? Because on chat GPT, for example, you can build your own custom GPTs or use other people's inside the store, that sort of thing. 
But Zapier actually links directly to multiple different apps and different triggers, right? So for example, we create a behavior over here and we add a trigger, we can choose between literally thousands of apps. All right, so if we just type in a random phrase right here, you can see all the different places that it can actually integrate with. So it's not like ChatGPT where everything is just done inside the platform. Zapier is a lot different because it connects with different apps, which means that the workflow can actually do a lot more and it can actually automate work for you. Whereas inside ChatGPT, it's not interacting with anything else. Additionally, it's dynamic, right? So let's say, for example, you create a new bot. If you update the data source, for example, like a Google Sheet or a Google Doc, you don't need to upload it again. It's going to take it directly from that file, right? Whereas inside ChatGPT, if you want to use a custom data set inside ChatGPT, you have to upload it pretty much every single time. If you update that data source, for example, like a Sheet or a Google Doc or a CSV that you're working with, you have to upload it all over again inside ChatGPT. Whereas inside Zapier, it's going to feed in directly from the file that you've updated recently. Number three, it can output to Google Docs or Google Sheets or whatever sort of platform you want, or whatever app. And everything is inside one hub, right? So if you go down here, you can see that it's got like the topical map maker. You could have a content outline brief maker, whatever. You could have all your bots lined up on the left right here. Now, there are other agent models that you can use. But I would say this is probably the easiest and fastest I've used. So for example, I've used tools like make.com as well to help, but typically they're a lot slower to use and it requires a lot more brain power and things can go wrong pretty easily if you've ever used make.com. This form of Zapier is just so easy and, and very quick to do. And then finally, of course, like every single task that you have in your business, you could give to an AI. Now, obviously, if you're using this for like content creation, etc., you'd use like an SEO checklist before you publish. But like topical maps, content outlines, keyword research, etc., things where it's very repetitive and you just need to add the final touches, you can automate directly inside Zapier Central. So it's a pretty cool tool. I want to show you some more automations now and we'll build some more stuff together. And if you want to delete a bot, by the way, just go to the three dots in the top right, then hit delete bot. So I'm just going to delete these right here. So what we're going to do is take another SAP from our free course right here. We'll plug this into a Google Sheet. So inside the topical map maker, we'll also do one for keyword research as well. So I'm going to create a behavior right here. We'll paste in the custom instructions for say local keyword research, just as an example. And I'm going to say with this prompt, give me keywords related to my niche and areas around the UK and the competition search volumes, rate the competition score out of five, five being the highest, one being the lowest, put it in a table, right? Then I'm going to add a trigger. So I'm going to say, right, when I message the bot for keyword research, work your magic. Now you can actually feed that in from Google Docs, like I mentioned before, and then we'll add an action. So we'll say, right, output that to Google Sheets or output that to Google Docs right here. I need to play around with the outputs a bit more and get better at that. But essentially we can switch on right now. And then if we put keyword research and it said, right, to begin with, I need to understand your niche better for your keyword research. Could you tell me the niche or the industry you're focusing on? So we'll put SEO for now. Let's say you've got an SEO website in the SEO niche and you want to rank for local keywords around the UK. What it's doing right here is giving us a keyword, the monthly search volume and the competition score. Now, search volume, I wouldn't worry about too much, but keyword and competition score is what you want to focus on. So for example, it's giving us the keyword SEO audits UK, competition score of three. Let's check it out on Ahrefs and see what it comes back with. And again, don't worry about the search volume. Typically, this is way different in reality. Now, whilst we're waiting for Ahrefs to load on the credit, what we can do is we might want to change the prompt. So you see how it's given us local keywords in the UK. It's not giving us ideas by city. So if we go to the behaviors right here, click on the SEO analysis section, we can say, give me specific cities in the UK plus 50 different keyword ideas. Now that's done. We'll X off that and it saved it automatically. So we don't need to hit save or anything like that. And then we'll try the prompt again. But the cool thing about this is you've got everything built in one place. Plus it shows you and recaps the behaviors at the bottom. So it's just a bit easier and more intuitive to use versus chat GPT. Now, if we look at that particular keyword that we were served, it is pretty low competition right there. So you can see three, this is an easy keyword to go for in the United Kingdom. It could potentially bring in more clients for our agency. And again, ignore the, the traffic potential. You can even see a few low DR sites ranking on the first page right there. So DR19, that's a reasonable keyword to go for. 
So we've typed in keyword research again, and we'll run the prompt again just to see what it's like. And I can give you an idea how to tweak the inputs to get better outputs. So we'll put SEO again inside the chat. And now it's given us the city, the keyword idea, the competition score, etc. And some of the keywords that it's given us are actually like valid, actually not bad at all. So you can see the potential of this. Obviously, I've only played around with it for a few minutes, but it's pretty interesting how you can build your own agents and custom workflows inside Zapier. You can output that into Google Docs or Google Sheets or whatever you want, and you can link it between apps. Plus, it's all in one place, so it's a bit more intuitive. It's nice and easy to use, and it doesn't require any code. Now, if you want access to all the prompts that I'm talking about today, you can get that links in the comments in the description. So, for example, you can see the keyword research prompt right here. You can see the topical map prompts, etc. Now let's try and take it up another level. So what we're going to do here is we shall create a behavior. And then what I'm going to say is analyze my content in terms of SEO. So analyze the keyword density, how good the content is in terms of expertise, authority, experience, and trust. And now grade my content based on this criteria and give me actionable ways to improve it. Then from the trigger. So let's say your content writer is using Google Docs to, to write their content. So once we've written the content, we can just get it analyzed inside this tool right here. So for example, we've set the trigger as when a new document is added inside any folder. And then you could actually set that as a trigger for this automation. But for now, we're just gonna go with message the bot to keep it simple on the video. I'll put the keyword as analyze right here, add the trigger, and we'll switch that on. Now it's given us a reply. We'll take in a random block, paste that into the chat like so. Hit enter. It's analyzed our expertise, authoritiveness, experience, and trust of the content, giving us a keyword density analysis, and then also giving us actionable improvements for the content. Now, now I would say that needs to be tweaked a lot in terms of the actual input of the prompt, but you can see how you can build all your custom tools within a workflow like this, automate everything with AI, build your own agents, and you've basically got a team and it has tons of potential. So we've built multiple free AI SEO agents, looked at some examples, including topical maps, content outlines. I think social media posts will be a good one as well. We've looked at how this is different versus custom GPTs and what you've seen before. I think this tool has a lot of potential and I've also given away all the prompts that we've talked about today as well in terms of analyzing the content, topical maps, keyword research, etc. So if you wanna get access to all of this, I'll put this inside the AI agent section of my free SEO course. It will be called Zapier Central, as you can see. So if you want to get access to all the prompts and the SAP from today, you can get free instant access to that. Links in the comments and description. And if you do want to book in a free SEO strategy session about how to get more leads, traffic and sales to your website, we're helping a lot of clients right now with human SEO content, with link building, etc. If you want to get your questions answered on the call, get a free SEO domination plan feel free to book that in. Thanks so much for watching. Appreciate it. Bye-bye.